Beef and vegetable stir fry is one of the easiest dinners you will ever make. Hi everyone, my name is Precious and today I am making a very easy beef and vegetable stir fry. This is so easy, it happens in 30 minutes, it is delicious, you can eat it with rice, with noodles. It's also a very balanced dish as there's a good amount of vegetables. Okay, let's get into it. Start by slicing some beef against the grain. I'm using flank steak here, but you could use chalk roast or you could even just get beef from your grocery store that is labeled as beef for stir fry. Slice the beef into thin strips so it is easy to chew. To make it easy to slice the beef into thin strips, you could put your beef in the freezer for about 30 minutes, then take it out and slice. That makes it really easy. Once your beef is all sliced, put it in a bowl, add a tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of cornstarch, and add as much black pepper as your heart desires. Honey, don't let anybody tell you how much black pepper to put in. Mix everything to combine. That cornstarch is going to tenderize the beef. Add a tablespoon of olive oil or any neutral tasting oil to a wok placed on high heat. Add the beef to the wok in a single layer. You could also use a large non-stick pan to make your stir fry if you don't have a wok that is. Once the beef has cooked on one side and developed a nice sear, flip to the other side, let it cook, keep stirring the beef as it cooks until it is completely cooked through. Now the thing about stir fries is they go really quickly. So before you start stir frying, you want to make sure that you have all your vegetables prepped. You have your garlic and ginger minced or grated. Once you start cooking, there is no stopping you. Make a slurry with half a tablespoon of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water. After you've taken the beef out of the work, Add another one tablespoon of oil into the wok. Let it heat up. Then you add the whites of green onions. I'm reserving the greens of the green onions for later. Saute the onions for about 30 seconds until fragrant. Then add a teaspoon of grated ginger and salt it for about 30 seconds. Also add a teaspoon of minced or grated garlic and saute it for about 30 seconds. Onions, garlic and ginger sauteing in the oil, we are building amazing flavor for our stir fry. Next add some broccoli, let it stir fry for about a minute, add some carrot that has been chopped into mashed sticks, let it stir fry for another minute, then add some chopped bell peppers and let it stir fry. The key when stir frying vegetables is to start with the hardest vegetable then add the softest vegetable last. Next add back the beef to the pan and stir to combine. Then add the slurry to the pan. This is going to give it a little bit of sauce. Mix everything well to combine. You will see that slurry thicken up. Add another 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, then stir to combine. You will note here that we are not adding any salt because the soy sauce is sufficiently salty. Add some more black pepper. You could add some crushed red pepper flakes if you want this a little bit spicy or even some cayenne pepper if you want it really spicy. Then add the greens of the green onions. Stir everything well to combine. Add in a little bit of water as needed. You can see that I rinsed the bowl in which we made the slurry and I added in some of the water because I saw that it was drying out too much. Finish up with a tablespoon of sesame oil. This is going to give it amazing, amazing flavor and the sesame oil should be put in last. You guys, beef and vegetable stir fry is ready so so good over some rice oh my goodness customize this recipe as it pleases you use any vegetables you have on hand it's a great way to clean out the fridge so so good thank you so much for spending time with me for the full recipe go to my blog preciouscore.com 
If you loved this video, be sure to click on the like button. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Okay, friends, that's it for today and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye!